you explain defensively what happened to you guys tonight? Yeah, for whatever reason, we came uh, out defensively and were, were tentative. Uh, we talked a lot going in about being the aggressor and, and our ball pressure that we do every single day. And you know, first first time on the road for our group, and it, it seemed like it got to us. We just weren't. Um, we didn't set the tone with our defensive physicality and intensity that we usually do. As a result, they had great confidence early, and uh, and they carried that over. So we've got to be who we can be, and that's going to be a physical, tough defensive team, and that's not who we were out there tonight. They obviously shot it really well, but it seemed like they got a lot of open looks. Was there breakdowns in your guys' rotations? Yeah, there was, and I, I feel like they did a great job moving the basketball. They had great intent. I mean, credit to them. They, they played well. Um, and, and so, like, yeah, part of it is – is us not pressuring the ball. The ball shouldn't be able to move as free as it did tonight. We were late to closeouts. We were late to rotations. Just felt like across the board we were on our heels, and, and that's not going to be a good formula for us moving forward. we got to be who we can be. TJ, not that a, a loss is ever, you know, good, whatever the word is, but what can, be, what can you guys learn from this over the next, whatever it is, three games? Well, for anything or if anything, we need to learn that we've got to be who we can be. So we got to get locked in on that. We can't take for granted uh, our defensive habits, our rebounding habits, physical offense. Um, we've got to maintain mental toughness when we're on the road. Um, you know, we've got a lot of road games ahead of us, so we've got to make sure that we stay in that moment and focus on the job that we need to do and not get caught up in the environment. I think today um, that's where it really got us is not only – did we not do what we needed to do and do that job early in, on each possession? Then the game, you know, when the environment had an effect on us, we got to do a better job staying locked into the moment. And you called timeout two and a half minutes in. What did you see from the guys in that photo? Yeah, just, you know, like I said, we were a step behind in everything. You know, they, uh, we talked about, you know, they, they want to, they're great at not turning the basketball over. They play with great pace and they move the ball. And so we need to be the aggressor to slow the ball down and get the ball stopped. And we talked about, you know, just calm down. You know, we, we knew there was going to be adversity. We knew there was going to be tough stretches or moments in the game. Uh, and when those moments came, that we really needed to stay together. We tried to emphasize that in that timeout of get out in front of the play, be the aggressor, um, and then stay together. And, you know, obviously we didn't respond as well as we would have liked. TJ, you threw a lot of body to Philip or Bracha, but how did he just sort of maneuver his way to the basket? Was offense the rebounds? Was it breakdowns? Or how would you kind of explain it? Yeah, I, I felt like he was the more physical guy a lot of the night. I mean, especially coming out right away. You know, we go to Oshun early in the game, and, um, and he did a great job getting the stop and finishing the play on the glass, you know, finishing plays on the glass. And I think when you do, when you stack up effort based things, your confidence grows in the course of the game. And, and then he was all over the offensive glass. He was effective in the paint. Um, so he just, you know, he had great intent to how he played. Thank you. Thank you.